Okay, this video is going to be my attempt at explaining theta, T fuel, and the golden ratio. So stay tuned. Okay, the golden ratio refers to the situation where the price ratio between T fuel and theta is 6.25 T fuel to 1 theta. And an equal dollar investment into either Theta or T fuel will yield an equivalent staking reward. So that there is no advantage to investing in one or the other regarding what your return on investment would be relative to the staking rewards received. So as an example, if the price of Theta were $10 and you were to divide $10 by 6.25, that would give you a price for T fuel of $1.60. And by the golden ratio theory, then you could invest an equivalent dollar amount into either one of those and the staking reward would be equivalent. There would be no advantage to investing in one versus the other. Unfortunately, it's a little more complicated than that because the price alone is not the determining factor for the reward. There are three factors that determine the amount of staking rewards received. The first factor is the total amount of circulating theta or T fuel, whichever one you happen to be talking about. The second factor is the total amount of the token that is staked, that being either theta or T fuel. And the third factor is the amount that you have staked as a percentage of the total amount staked of either theta or T fuel. As an example, if your stake represents 10% of the total stake, then you would receive 10% of the T fuel set aside to pay staking rewards. So having said that, the actual price of the token at the time the staking rewards are earned is irrelevant. The price ratio only comes into play when you are investing in Theta or T fuel because it determines the amount of Theta or T fuel that you are able to get for a given dollar investment. The assumption is that you will be able to get an amount of either token that will generate a comparable staking reward. And I'll show you an example of that. So in this example, we know that if T fuel is $1.60 and Theta is $10, that we could buy 10,000 T fuel, which is the minimum amount you need to stake, for $16,000. Or we could buy 1,600 Theta for the same money. So we know from historical data that staking Theta is paying close to one T fuel per thousand stakes. So 1600 Theta would give us a daily staking reward of 1.6 T fuel. So now we're gonna look at what will the minimum amount of T fuel staked give us in T fuel staking rewards. And I'm gonna pull up the spreadsheet and show you that. So with this spreadsheet, I have set the percent staked of T fuel to 59%. So it's the same as the percent of theta that is staked or very close. And then I've set the amount of T fuel staked to the minimum amount or 10,000, the amount that we could buy with $16,000. And then if you look down here, the daily T fuel staking reward is 1.86. So it's in the neighborhood of the amount of staking reward you'd get for staking 1600 theta. Okay, the theory of the golden ratio is that market forces will tend to keep the price of T fuel and theta at that golden ratio, meaning the money will flow into either theta or T fuel based on which one is paying the better staking rewards. So if T fuel is the one that's paying the better staking rewards, money will flow into that, which will bring the price of T fuel up and 
possibly bring the price of theta down or a combination of the two in order to keep the price of theta and T fuel at or near the golden ratio. Basically, the price of theta and the price of T fuel want to be at that golden ratio. So if the theta staking is the one that's paying the better rewards, then the money will flow into theta, raising the price, possibly reducing the price of T fuel to keep things at that golden ratio point, if that makes sense. The flaw in that theory is that it assumes a couple of things that aren't necessarily true. It assumes, number one, that some of the demand for T-Fuel, if that's the one that's giving the better staking reward, will come from people trading out their theta for T-Fuel. And some of the demand will, in fact, come from that, so that, depending on how much of that happens, could potentially be a downward pressure on the price of theta if people are trading out for T-Fuel. But some of the demand for the T-Fuel is going to come from people just buying the T-Fuel outright and keeping their theta in place. So, you know, the, it's not cut and dry as to where the demand for theta will come from or where the demand for T-Fuel will come from because if the money is flowing into theta, as an example, it also can be coming from outside, not from people swapping T-Fuel for theta. And then there's the fact that not everybody is going to be making their investment decisions based on which one is paying the better rewards because some people are going to be buying theta over T-Fuel because they just believe that theta has a better upside in the price than T-Fuel does. So that's not going to necessarily work for the golden ratio, so to speak. But that's what the golden ratio is all about, and that's the way it's supposed to work. So there is some merit to it, but my understanding is Theta Labs agrees with it. They would like to see that, but even they admit that that's not necessarily going to work out that way. So that's the golden ratio. Hopefully you understood. And by the way, if you want to know more about it, go over to tfuel.farm, F-A-R-M, and there's a whole thing about the golden ratio and how it works. And, you know, that's my understanding of it. But don't guarantee that that's 100% accurate. But I think it is. Okay, if you found this helpful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me if you would on your way out. And I'll see you in the next video.